Hello and happy holidays. Welcome back. Uh, if you've been here before, if you haven't, then welcome regardless. Today I want to talk about something I received on my prior video when I was talking about setting up perplexity as default search engine in Chrome. And as you can see in this email I received from one of the people who watched it, it says this is useless for Firefox users. So outside of the fact that right here it clearly states it's for Chrome, I thought I addressed this particular comment. I know this is particularly helpful, but I'm sure there are people who use Firefox that might want to know, including this person. So let's just go into it. So the first thing that I wanted to mention is that people, for whatever reason, in the age of AI are not using AI. And so instead of leaving this quote unquote useless comment on my channel for my video, I think what the person should have done is simply jump into ChatGPT or Claude or any of the LLMs out there and just type a message. Is it possible to use perplexity as default search engine in Firefox? And so if that person to simply put in this question to, let's say, ChatGPT, they would immediately get an answer that says, yes, you can. Okay, beautiful. So it gives you instructions. It says, visit Perplexity AI by navigating to this URL. Okay, so the first thing it says to do to open Perplexity AI in Firefox. So we're going to bring in Firefox. My default is Chrome, so I want to open it manually. And then it says, next thing it wants us to do is right click on the address bar and add perplexity as an open source. Okay, so we right click on the address bar and we can see there is no option for what they're talking about here. Obviously, it's a little problematic, it's not exactly accurate. So the next thing we're going to do just to be uh, vigilant here is let's go and try to do like I did in Chrome. And so what we're going to do is we're going to go to uh, settings here and under settings for Firefox we have something called uh, search perfect and then over here we can see it's a default search engine and we have all these engines we can pick from including or not including in this case perplexity obviously it's a problem because we need perplexity in there if we scroll down all the way down we see that there is an option called search shortcuts and it's got a bunch of different things including not including perplexity. But down below with a little link here, it says find more search engines. If we click on that, it takes us to the Firefox browser add-ons. And we just simply do a search for perplexity. And it comes right up. And it comes right up with perplexity on the box. We go ahead and click on it. It says add it to Firefox. So that's what we're going to do. Click on that. Over here, it comes up with a little pop up. It says that perplexed on your box. We'll say add. And it says it's been added. Beautiful. So now we go back to the settings again. And let's do a quick refresh to make sure it has the latest settings. And then if we go to search and we look down at search options, so you can see now that perplexity is one of the options we can see. Okay, so we just simply select it. And now this should be the default search engine. So if we type in, say we pull up a new tab and type in music in space or whatever topic you want to search for, as you can see, it comes right up with perplexity directly from the address bar. Exactly what we wanted to do. Okay, so the moral of the story here is that it doesn't exactly work like stated using ChatGPT. I mean, what they said is meant for a different version of Firefox. That's why it didn't show up on my end. But the latest version can be done using the approach I showed. The main point here is that don't automatically assume something that something doesn't work. If you're using AI, go ask it to see if that's an available option. If you have AI, as I always say, use AI. So if that person went into ChatGPT or anything else and asked if you can do this on Firefox, they would get the same answers I got, and then they can go from there. Now, obviously, it's not always going to be 100% accurate. Like in this case, it doesn't show it for the latest 
version of Firefox, but the assumption is since it can be done, then uh, you figure out basically how to do it based on what I did in the prior video with Chrome. It's very similar here in Firefox as well. Can definitely be set up as you just saw and can be used. I hope you find this helpful and uh, wish everybody happy holidays and a happy new 2025. And we're going to do a lot more videos next year. If you have any specific requests or questions, please put them in the comments below. And until next time, I'm still Oleg. Take care.